Recently, President Muhammadu Buhari declared his intention to contest the 2019 presidential elections. And we are right here on the street to sample the opinions of Nigerians on what they think about it. I am Favor Basi Otu with DMI TV. Recently, sir, President Muhammadu Buhari declared his intention to contest the 2019 presidential election. What do you have to say concerning this? Um, actually, what I would say is that uh, uh, Muhammadu Buhari has uh, failed Nigerians. Right, I'm a diehard of uh, President Muhammadu Buhari before even uh, becoming the president, but sincerely, we, we are disappointed in this uh, action and then uh, we believe uh, it's hard time for us to choose a credible candidate that will be able to lead us to the next uh, level. Gaskiani in Avocata Baba Hollis will say, Some of the Yamun Timoku, I've been the head to make it to Nani. Do come when the Nigeria Hankalim Raga Quanta. Ba, Pata, Ba, and Natasha Hankali, who was in Emea Abundana CJT. If he's um, declaring to contest again, that is okay for him. But I think, uh, in my personal opinion, Nigeria should be migrating down. Uh, we already have a 31-year-old now that's president of Austria. So there's a need for younger people to now be engaged in the leadership of this country. There was one time we had 26-year-olds as governor. We had 34-year-old um, as head of state. So I think that's, this is the time for younger people with young new ideas, you know, ability to be able to challenge the, the system and walk through to declare. I so much believe in myself and I believe in this country too. For me, I don't see this man coming back to power because he has totally woefully failed this country. Democracy is a government of the people by the people. And in terms of all these terms of democracy, he has woefully failed. So I don't see him coming back. Well, my thought here is um, before you declare your intention to run for the second term, you should be able to itemize one or two, three, two things you've been able to, to do within the last four, three, four years you were given opportunity to run. You know, the last time he came up to contest for presidency, everybody think, okay, fine, let's give this uh, person to an opportunity to to run to, to to show us what he has haven't contested previously about three times so we were expecting that he was going to do a lot of things a lot of people were having hopes that when he comes in he's going to tackle a lot of things regarding concerning the uh, economy security but what we're having today is a uh, is a different thing altogether uh, recently president Muhammad Buhari declared his intention to contest 2019 presidential election. What is your take on this? My take on this is a wish. A wish for it. Is what? It's wish to collect, but we can collect, contest any time. But if you lose, they take it like that. Well, as constitution demand, we don't have the right. He has the right to contest. So I think there is no problem about it. Excuse me. Uh, me to me, I don't think Bwari should come. Bwari is a disaster to this nation. He should not come because he has crippled the economy from all sectors. No, from fuel scarcity to, you know, he has devalued our Naira. And the rate of poverty in the country is alarming. To me, Barry's administration already is a dismal failure. And I see no reason why he should come out for another tenure. One mudo of rice is 200 Naira. But now, one mudo of rice is 600 Naira. We don't want Buari. I don't need that man to constant again you know, because the one I constant people they die. Hung they kill people. We know one time. You know they favor us. Even food, afternoon food, we know bit of money food. Market, we know they sell, no money. Make another party come oh, so that we will see better for Nigeria. We don't tire for killing, 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 killing. Since your body enter, killing, 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 killing. People know this. Hunger, cry everywhere, sorrow for people hearts. Hungry won't kill us! Hungry! The masses are crying. I don't just know. I will ask, did he forget anything in the villa? He has been a military head of state. Now he's a civilian 
president, if he forget anything within this period of, let me say, a year, he should just, whatever he forget, he, just, he should just pick it and leave that place. Well, we are here to experience the change they promised us. Since he come into his position and so many things are still to put him in place. If you really want to contest, let, let him do what we should, I really want to contest. If you look around, you will see that, you will see it in everybody's face. Some people will want to say, some people don't want to say it, that we are yet to experience the change they promised us. So if it's what we are experiencing now is what he's coming back for, I don't know what other people's mind brought. Uh, so you're saying Nigerians won't give him their mandate, they won't vote for him? What I'm saying is that there were promises that are yet to be fulfilled. The man never do, he never finishes his work, and he will not, not go finish his work this first time. He get ambition, where he, he have a very good ambition for this country. And the only way he go give him chance to come for a second time, now he go fulfill that ambition. There are many people this man want to catch. There are many work where he want to do. If he succeed in the second time, that is where we'll be able to do that work without any challenges. But if you make attempt to do that, to do that work now, it's going to have problems. So until you come back before you can fulfill your ambition, that is it. Me, I feel uh, he is an old man. So far, we've not seen anything he has done. And the truth of the matter is, he is an old man. He should leave the seat for the youth. And there are so many credible people in this country that can rule the nation well. So far, we've not seen anything he has done. So it should just, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. He's just power drunk. Yes, it's nice. How, uh, what makes it nice? Uh, what, what makes it nice is that during that time when good law was there, you know, people, they were criticizing good luck and they were saying so many things about good luck. And I, I feel that that time we are living, we are even living better. Then, but they're not voting in because we have so many psychophants in this country, people who rely on eye service. So I want him to go there. I want him to come for uh, 2019. <laughs> it's better. I was having the mind that he will not come out again because he performed woefully bad. To Nika, I know that you come again, na. Say I'm Baba, Kukuma in Chida, I'm Baba. Yeah, I did it. Do me me. Sabo de Sora abundi reggae. The Abu Nekhi book atu yegara kuma se yegara. Buze iya yegara de ganon zua 2019 election. Eh muna tunana haka insha Allahu ba buze buze yegara kapun lo kachi. Mbe iba fa. Ah muna in Allah suze yima. For me personally, if I have to say anything about uh, his own re-election, now we say that we have not achieved anything for the three years he has ruled so far. So going for 2019 uh, re-election, I don't really know how it's going to come about that. Victor, I don't know how he's going to come about it because at least you have to put things on ground for us to see before we re-elect you. And this brings us to the end of this segment. Nigerians have spoken concerning the president's intention to contest in 2019. Some say he needs time to consolidate his achievements, while others feel he is too old and in bad health and should give opportunity to the youth to contest. Now the question is, what do you say? I am Favor Basio too with DMI TV. Thank you for staying with us.